Hey guys, one of my patrons reached out to me and needed some help building a Rage Craw style body. Uh, it's not super easy to do in Fusion the way I had done it in a previous video, which was to make the segments and kind of move them and scale them and stuff like that. I found a much simpler way to do that, so I'm going to show you that today. Let's go. Why do I have a crappy mustache? Right. So let's do a four inch body. So to make that easier, I'm going to make it a parameter. Call it link, because that's the way I roll. Type in 4IN. Fusion will automatically convert it because it's small like that. Okay. Now, what we want to do is we're going to draw our first head section. So, I'm going to start with the line. I'm going to draw it over here. We'll put it in the right spot in a second. This is how tall you want the lure to be, right? If, so, if you know the rage crawl or most crawl slash creature style baits, they're kind of flatter, skinnier on the top, and then they get wider kind of as it goes down. So we're gonna make it a little small in the front. Yeah. Let's make it, oh, I don't know. You don't wanna go too small. Let's go eight. All right, stick that in the right spot. We're gonna do a midpoint constraint, this line to the center circle. Booyah. All right, let's zoom in a little bit because we're old. Now we want to make that kind of crawl style section. And we're only doing half of this, by the way, the, the right half in this case. We'll mirror it all on the end. Okay, now that we got that line in the right spot, let's figure out how wide we want this to be. We're going to use a line and we're going to make it a construction line. Come right out of the center. And what do we say? We're eight millimeters tall. Let's go 12 wide at the front. Oh wait, so if we want to go 12 wide, we actually want to make this six. Because again, we're going to marrow it across, and so it'll be double this width. All right, so now we can hit the fit point spline. Oh, we want to take off our construction line. My god, I just rebooted my computer and like one million things are popping up. Okay, now if you look at the rage crawl, it's got kind of the, the sides kind of bow into the middle of the bait. So let's add that bow. Bow. So what we're going to do, first thing we're going to do is we're going to make this equal to that. So we hit click the equal constraint, click both of those. Okay. Hit the escape key. We're going to grab this. Okay. Hit the D key for dimension. Click that line and this middle line, you should get this um, angle here. I think we want it to be about 60. Yeah. All right. Do the same thing down here. Probably a better way to do that. And then to get the point, because I want a kind of a point here, we want to make this really small. The other thing we're going to do is put a horizontal vertical constraint on this guy. Click this line, click horizontal vertical. That's going to keep it straight up and down, which is what we want. We'll zoom in here and make this pretty small. Okay, that'll get you kind of the point of that bad boy. We can also make these a little bit smaller here. All right. Just going to go ahead and dimension all of these out as well. So we get a fully constrained sketch. That way, all the fusion nerds will love me. Okay. Now this is the, this is the rib, if you will, right? So we want the actual the head, the body that's going to go through this whole bait to be a little smaller than this. So we're gonna make an offset of this uh, about one millimeter. That's probably okay. And then we need to connect this outside line to this inside profile line. And you can do this kind of however you want. I've been just using straight lines. I'll point out when we get to the, the point where this becomes useful, where that straight line versus the curve line comes into play. And then we want to trim out this guy and this guy. We don't need them anymore. Okay, so we got this inner circle and outer circle. Looks cool. So now we're going to create a construction plane here. And I'm typing in length because that's the parameter we put in. And I'm going to divide it, which is the backslash by two. So that's going to put us halfway down the length of our lure. 
So this way, if I go back and I wanna make this 4.5 inches, five inches, two inches, whatever, I can go back into that name parameter, type in a number and it will adjust accordingly and this midpoint will stay the same. All right, so now we wanna create a sketch on this plane now. We can leave our current sketch in place. And how much bigger do we want to get? I'm gonna eyeball it. 12 millimeters thick sounds about right. Again, we're gonna put a midpoint constraint on this line to the center. We are now going to draw our construction line out from the middle. And let's make this a little bit fatter. If we make this 10, that'll make our overall bait 20 millimeters in diameter. Again, don't like copy my numbers necessarily, right? Just think about like at the widest point of this lure, right in the middle, how wide do you want the ribs? So we made it 10, and again, you're gonna double it because we're gonna marrow it and it'll make it 20. So, you know, you do you, bro. And then we're gonna come back to the same thing with fit point spline. Boom, whoops, no construction line. We want it to be a real grown up big boy line. And we probably want the same angle, so I'm gonna hit the D key for dimension. I'm gonna dimension this to here. 60 degrees, here to here. 60 degrees. Oops, we want a uh, horizontal vertical constraint on that bad boy. Shrink it down. And again, this is just, you know, whatever you feel like doing, man. This is where the art comes in. Do your art. We're gonna make these equal here. So I can just grab one and tweak it like that. Hit the D key and fully dimension these bad boys out. What am I missing here? I got the angles, I got, oh, uh, I need to dimension this guy, bro. I got 12.5. Okay, we're all happy to mention that. Okay, looking good. Create one last construction plane off the front, and it's gonna be Link. Oops, Link. I'm gonna come back here. I'm gonna turn off this middle sketch. Let's see the front sketch. And now here you can actually do a couple of things. Uh, if I want to, I can, oops, hang on. So I exit out of that sketch, right? If I highlight all of this stuff, hit Control C, come back in here and edit that last sketch that I was in, hit Control V, hit Enter, and now turn off that front sketch. I have the, um, same exact sketch on the front and the back. Uh, I don't need this section, so I'm gonna delete that. I need to re-midpoint this line to here. So I moved it, re-center pointed it, it's fully constrained. Now, if you want to, you can change this to be a different back tail section than the front, if you want different dimensions uh, for, you know, the sake of ease of the ear, I just copied and pasted it. All right, now we're gonna finish sketch. Let's turn all of our sketches on because we're about to use our good friend, Loft. So, and it's gonna be a pretty easy Loft. You wanna select, make sure you select the inside and outside of that guy. That one and that one, boom. So there we go. Again, if you want this to be wider, to stick out more, you know, just edit that sketch. Let's actually make this easy and just call this mid section always good and i would just come in here and maybe make this 12 right finish sketch and it's a little bit fatter okay now we're gonna break up this because these are our ribs of our bait here so let's draw a new sketch on the top Ooh. not what i wanted to do bro we're gonna create a new sketch and we're gonna use this top plane and I'm gonna twist it around, put it here. Okay, now we're gonna draw a line and we just want this line to go over all sections of the body. So we wanna make sure that the bottom, you know, goes fully past this and the top goes fully past that edge, right? You just want it doesn't need to be right on or anything. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the D key and we're gonna go from the center point to this line. And this is gonna give me how large of a head section I want on this thing. So, or another way to think about it, at what point does the first rib start? So I'm gonna go eight 
millimeters. You give that a little bit of love there. So now what we want to do, we have our line in place. We have our head kind of defined as eight millimeters long. We want to create a rectangular pattern to make the rest of these ribs. And so you also want to leave some meat on the tail. So what you want to do here in this offset area, this, you know, what is that called? The extent, right? You can figure out how much material you want to leave at the end of your lure body that doesn't have ribs in it. Uh, I'm going to say 12 millimeters just for the fun of it. And the easy way to do this is to use our link parameter again. So we're going to type in link, hit enter, minus 12. So that's going to take 12 millimeters off the length and put our line there. Now we want to come in here and change our ribs. 20. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And actually, I think I want to make this a little bit longer. Let's make this. 18. Okay, I'll shrink it back. Got 20 of those bad boys. Looks good. Again, you can mess around with this all day long. Click OK and finish sketch. Hit the extrude command. I hit the E button there. I'm gonna choose thin extrude. So you choose that option. We're gonna highlight all of these bad boys. Direction is symmetric. Extent type is all. That's gonna go through everything. Wall thickness. Okay, first thing I want to do, I like to put it on the center. And then the wall thickness is basically how much of a gap between the ribs there's going to be. And again, where we where we made our lines before, there's kind of a relationship there, right? If you, um, you could probably do some math and say like, look, I'm covering, I don't know what, you know, 10, 100 millimeters of space and I'm taking out two millimeters each. That's, you know, I, I don't even know how to do math. I just do my eyebrow, like that's how I do. Uh, but let's make them two millimeters wide. See how that looks. On center, yeah, not bad, pretty good. And we want to cut it. Click on OK. All right, so now I got a bunch of ribs floating in space. What I want to do is when you look at the Strike King, the front of the ribs facing the head, kind of sharp angles in the back are very rounded and, and a little bit smaller. So easiest way to do that is with the fillet. So we're gonna click fill it. We're gonna click these back edges only, right? So we don't want any other edges, but these guys right here. And I'm not gonna do the very back one yet. I'll do that later when I put everything together. Okay, so for the radius, so we got two millimeters of material to work with here and I want a fairly type deal. So um, we're gonna make it 1.9. All right, this is like 1.9, so let's try 1.8. No, this is always fun to figure out. 1.7, okay, that front one's causing me problems. It's 1.6, no, 1.5. All right, 1.3. That's always the fun with fillet. You gotta sort this stuff out. Now I could have individually selected these, give them different fillets, but you know, that's no fun. So now we got this situation here and we're gonna click on OK. Now you're left with a bunch of bodies hanging out there and to bring it all together, what we're gonna do is turn back on our first sketch, hit the E for extrude and select that inner profile. Now we wanna start here, extent type. Uh, I just do two object, come back here, select this back face, operation is join. And now you can see you have half of a creature bait body. Click on OK. And we're back to one body again because it joined them all up. Let's turn off that sketch. And now we just want to create a mirror. Body, select this body, mirror plane. You can select this plane here and we're going to join and boom. And there you go. You got that subtle little curve in the middle there that kind of divides everything up and a nice taper and everything, right? So you can go and build from here. Um, one thing that I always mess up on is this. I don't make this back part big enough. So again, you can go back and edit that sketch that we used here. Double click this. Um, icon here. This is the rectangular pattern. If you double click on that, it brings up the edit. 
and then just make this length, maybe even, I don't know, I'm at minus 20. Yeah. Click finish sketch. Since we have the same number of ribs there, it should still work. They'll be a little thinner, but um, you know, once you start messing with that, like weird things can happen. So everything worked fine there. And we have a little bit better situation. So remember when we did that offset on the front profile and I connected it to the center line with a straight line? Let me show you where that actually had the impact on this lure design. Right in here, you see this body section is now relatively flat instead of curved. So, you know, you can go back in there and kind of soften that out if you want. I actually like it kind of angular like this. I think it looks a little bit cooler. All right, guys, I hope you found that useful. We'll keep working on this thing. We'll add some fins and stuff in upcoming videos, but I had a Patreon member that reached out and wanted to, um, wanted some help on designing this type of bait. And um, take care, tight lines.